As we continue looking at the interdivisional rivalries, let's look at the NFC North, who's going to be playing the NFC West teams this year. And one of the top divisional storylines that I'm looking at when it comes to the North is the return of Aaron Rodgers to the Green Bay Packers. The Vikings were clearly the best team in this division last year, but they did that while Aaron Rodgers was on injured reserve. So now the Green Bay Packers are getting back the potentially the best player in the NFL, and that's going to make them the favorite to win this division, if not to be a serious Super Bowl contender. In addition to Aaron Rodgers, it's really going to be the quarterbacks in this division that are worth watching. In Minnesota, Kirk Cousins got that guaranteed contract. He's replacing Case Keenum, so we want to see what sort of season he can have. In Chicago, Mitchell Trubisky is going to year two with a new head coach and offensive coordinator. And then Matthew Stafford, they got a new coaching staff with the Detroit Lions. And as it always seems to be with Detroit, it seems like the Lions are only going to go as far as Matthew Stafford can take them. So when it comes to the NFC West, it's all about the Los Angeles Rams. They're coming off of one of the most interesting off seasons that we've seen in recent memory. So I'm really interested to see how this defensive chemistry experiment is gonna go and what this offense is going to be capable of in year two with head coach Sean McVay and quarterback Jared Goff, who really had a breakout season last year, but now have other teams been able to catch up? That's really gonna be something worth watching, especially when the rest of the division, there's a lot of question marks. The Arizona Cardinals are gonna have a new starting quarterback whether it's Sam Bradford or first round pick Josh Rosen, the San Francisco 49ers, Jimmy Garoppolo is yet to lose a game, but how long can the Niners keep that up and what sort of things are going to be possible in year two of the Garoppolo, Kyle Shanahan combination. And with the Seattle Seahawks, they're in such transition right now as they're rebuilding that defense after the departures of so many of the familiar faces and their best player, Earl Thomas is still holding out. So there's going to be a lot of questions elsewhere in that division, which means there's going to be so much focus on on the Rams and what they can do in year two with Sean McVay. And when you look at the schedule between these two divisions, one of the best games is going to come in week four when the Minnesota Vikings go to LA to play the Rams. This is a game that could be a potential NFC Championship game preview and a game that when you look at it, it's probably going to have some sort of playoff seeding implications later on. These two teams played last year in 2017 and the Vikings defense really did a good job of handling that Rams offense better than just about anybody we saw in the NFL last year. So I want to see what sort of strides Sean McVay and this offense have made and if they have some better answers against what's going to be another really good Minnesota Vikings defense.